Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. It is Sunday evening, November 6th, yeah. And uh, this evening I just came back from another filming, uh, or like shooting, you say that, call that a TV shooting thing? Well, it's not really TV, so you know that I'm doing this culture program for CCTV, but it's not going to be on TV. It's only going to be um, published on the Facebook of CCTV. And if you're wondering, <laughs> hmm, why does CCTV have a Facebook page when it's um, controlled by the government? Well, I'm wondering too and I can't give you the answer, so sorry for that. Anyway, um, after doing this uh, uh, shooting today, the episode, the culture episode, I came to think of something and I thought I would like to share my thoughts with you guys. And I'm looking at my phone because I have a tendency to talk in different directions and I want this to be very direct, uh, not direct, I want it to be straight to the point, this video. I really need to practice that more. I just wrote down my thoughts. I'm gonna try to read aloud what I wrote. Okay, so the title is called Linking Passion and Jobs. <clears throat> China edition, of course. Um, so I wrote, I have a passion for China. And I also have a passion for writing and filming and entertaining. Yeah, I love making the YouTube videos here. I love entertaining you guys. You know, if you think I'm funny, I don't know, but <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> anyway, so, I wrote here, because I have these pas passions, I thought I would love to be on TV. <clears throat> so I did an audition for a Chinese program, and it's the program I've been shooting today. The first moments in front of the camera uh, were weird. Of course they were weird. I hadn't been in front of like a real big TV camera, and like 10 people standing around, and everyone is like, you know, judging me, not really saying anything, but I know they're thinking. Um, stuff, you know, so yeah, I felt strange. The staff around me kept talking about my white, uh, white um, hips and my waist and my uh, breasts and uh, I know that this is the TV business and I should get, I should be used to it. I should be fine with it. Like Chinese people do that on the street as well. They might say, oh, you're fat or you're tall or you're white, whatever, you know. But it was just in another way, I felt that they were looking at me and judging me for not being small enough for camera. And I knew already that I wasn't the size of a, a camera celebrity, you know. I'm never going to be an actor or anything like that. But it just still... I don't know if it hurts inside, but I just... I was annoyed, you know. I just got annoyed. I was like, I kind of like my body. Stop doing that. Anyway, so discussing how to cover... Uh, they were discussing how to cover up my size and show off... <laughs> that was kind of weird. They tried to... They discussed how to cover up my size, but, like, they want to show off my breasts, uh, which I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is just more and more awkward. Anyway, <laughs> um... <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I did go through with the filming because I wanted to throw myself into something I wasn't used to and I thought it would be a good idea for me to learn to be on camera because you never know what, you know, is going to be thrown at you later on. And I also needed to get out of my comfort zone. Right. So, after completing one episode, I knew uh, that th this shooting um, cultural Chinese TV programs was not for me. I wondered why. I wondered, don't I love these kind of things? Like, did my passion for filming and talking leave me? What happened? But no, of course, my passion didn't leave me. I still love to talk about China, tell stories about China. I still love to make videos for people, especially for them to fall in love with China, you know. Um, but I'm just not up for being on TV. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't up for being on TV and uh, where I have to look perfect. And say the correct things, which was written, of course, down. I had a manuscript I need to memorize, needed to memorize, and uh, uh, it just wasn't for me. It was all too much set up. Like I'm a storyteller. I'm a person with a great imagination, and I like to be myself. I I like myself, you know, and and I know that actors, of course, they like themselves too, and they just like to act, you know, and and try to be different people, but. 
I just really love to be me, apparently. Like, I don't want to be somebody else. I don't want to be this, like, da 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 on camera if I don't feel like it. I'm not just not up for playing uh, somebody else. And I want to be me and tell my stories while showing off my beautiful body. <laughs> of course, not like that, you know, not like that. But, you know, I love myself and I don't want to feel insecure about my body. Um, just because of the camera and some people who say that it's not good enough, you know, and um, yeah, no, I just don't want to. And I don't want to even, you know, move in a direction where these things will make me insecure, if that makes sense. Like, I, I said that before, I like myself. So I should stick to my uh, writing here because else I'm just going to go off track again. So, now I know exactly what I don't want to do. I don't want to do a stage TV again. Um, if I should do something like that, it should be me telling my stories without trying to be somebody or something I'm not. So, it should be an interview or it should be me just being a storyteller as I am, uh, talking about my experiences in China. Uh, I want to show all emotions and I want to be me because I like me. In front of that camera, I didn't like myself. I felt distant from myself. I felt nervous and not in a good way. I was like, is this good enough? Is that good enough? Like, I'm not funny enough. I'm not jolly enough. And I just didn't like that feeling because <laughs> I used to do trust myself, but I didn't in that moment. And I didn't like that feeling. So I also realized that when working with something I'm passionate about, I gladly work all day and night, like my internship or YouTube. But when doing these cultural programs, a few hours already made me super exhausted and I just wanted to go home. And I saw how my friend Luke is like super passionate about it. He wants to be an actor. He worked, he like on this program, he has been literally working from early, early morning to super late night. And um, I just didn't want to. But if you tell me to do some kind of video or YouTube or something, I gladly do it in my spare time. I do it morning, I do it in the afternoon, I do it in the evening or midnight, whatever. You know, I get up in the middle of the night to upload videos because it's my passion. So yeah, I see what passion does to what you're doing. And I think that's why it's a really important thing to mix these two things together. Um, so yeah, it's great to try out new things, but also important to sit down, uh, look realistically at the situation a job and then decide if it's worth it. Uh, I'm happy that I did try the TV thing, but I'm also very happy that I finished. It was the last episode today, so I did like three or four episodes, I think, four episodes. Yeah, I did one on Friday, I did one uh, today, Sunday, and uh, they're gonna finish up very soon and they're gonna make it into cultural prog programs. And I saw one of the... I saw one of the programs that I'd made and I was like, it's just not me. It's just not me. Not at all. It made me really uncomfortable. I was like laughing. They thought that I thought it was funny, but it was not so much funny. It was just really, really awkward to see myself. Um, so yeah, not again, probably. Um, like, of course, I became really good friends with the producer and the, yeah, the producer of the show. And she is a lovely, lovely woman. And I would love to meet her again. And if she has something else, like other kinds of work, that would be cool. But I think they also could see that I was not, you know, a person to do those kind of things. I should do different kind of things because they know that I love the camera and I love to be on camera, but just not in that setting. So I don't know, guys, what I wanted to say with this video. I really just want to, you know... Um, just talk about this whole situation with the TV show and like how my feelings about that and my experience. I'm very positive. It was a good experience. I tried it. I got to speak Chinese all day, all night, <laughs> which was amazing. And I met some really cool people and I got out of my comfort zone. I didn't leave, did definitely get out of my comfort zone. Now I'm back in my comfort zone and I'm very happy about that too, because it's cool to push yourself out there, but it's also very nice to come back and just be calm and relaxed, you know, and cool with what you're doing so anyway uh i don't know what i wanted to say i think i just wanted to say guys if you have a passion try to follow it of course don't be unrealistic but if you have a passion you can mix with the job it's amazing it's really really amazing and now i know even more how much i want to do um social media marketing youtube filming uh, photography uh blogging all these kind of th kinds of things i know that that's where my passion is and of course china of course china china you're my one and only damn i'm lonely guys if you didn't know on 11 11 is another chinese valentine's day um, it's actually like single, 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 single. You see one, 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 one. 
So either you have fun with your boyfriend or you go shopping. <laughs> and I don't really feel like I have the money for shopping, but I'm also a little lonely. Yesterday I had this lonely feeling, like I was standing there in my friend's room. I was staying at my friend's uh, place for a few days because I needed to get out of this dorm for a while. And uh, yeah, I was just standing and watching the view and I was like, mm, I feel lonely. It's really dumb because I have friends around me all the time. <laughs> I have so many people. I talk every single day with people, but anyway, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed my little blah, blah, blah here. And uh, if you have any thoughts or feelings you want to share with me, comments, please comment below. And I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you again very, very soon. So see ya and 再见. Ling Ling is out. Bye-bye.